Welcome. Let's discuss the triangle proportionality theorem. Let's consider this triangle on the left and let's think of this question. What would happen if we draw a parallel line in this triangle? So let's consider the side AC and let's draw a parallel line to AC. Let's call this line FE. When we introduce this new line, notice that the left hand side AB got cut into two sides. That would be AF and FB, and the right-hand side of a triangle also got cut into two segments, EC and BE. Because this line is parallel, it didn't just cut the sides into smaller pieces, it actually cut them in proportion. In other words, if we get line segment AF, and we divide by the line segment FB, which notice that those are the two segments on the left hand side, that is going to be equivalent to the proportion EC divided by BE. And this is what we define as the triangle proportionality theorem. If we introduce a parallel line in a triangle, the sides of those triangles are going to be cut in a proportional way. One thing to notice about our proportions is that the numerators in our fractions, they were both to the sides that were at the bottom of the parallel line and the denominators of our fractions that were both the upper side of our parallel line. But there are different cases that can occur. Let's take a look at those three cases. The first case is what we have just discussed. If we introduce a parallel line to AC, then we cut the left hand side into AE and EB and we cut the right hand side into FC and BF and the proportionality, it was AE divided by EB, and that was equal to FC divided by BF. What if we introduce a line that is parallel to AB now? Then let's look at our segments. Then AC will be cut into AE and EC, and BC will be cut into BF and FC. And if that's the case, then our proportion will be of AE divided by EC, and that will be equal to BF divided by FC. And notice that the numerators are both opposite of each other, and both denominators are opposite of each other. So that's our second case. Now let's consider our third case, where we draw a parallel line to BC. And if that's the case, notice that AB got cut into AE and EB, and AC got cut into AF and FC. And if that's the case, then our proportion will be AF divided by FC. And that should be equal to AE divided by EB. And notice again, the numerators are opposite from each other, and the denominators are opposite from each other. And these are the three cases that we should consider when we think about the triangle proportionality theorem. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.